Yes, the, the Carter Tray back again with another review. Big. Cookies, pink, row, zay. Full, so the purple's almost black. OG Sin. What? Yo, look at it, look at it. Cookies, gelati, boom. Snow, man. What we got? Oh! Oh! What's up? What's up? What's up? Yes, the Carter tray is back again, but this time, this is going to be my first host cannabis co review video. How's everybody doing today? Good morning from Colorado. Yes, this is going to be a wake and bake video. It is my off day today. And I really feel like, you know, to get that, really get the feel of the high, I feel like it's best. You know, first in the morning, while everything's still waking up, you know what I mean? Still sound a little half sleep right now. <clears throat> Excuse that, but, uh... Yes, of course I cop this from Lakeshore Cannabis. Where else would I cop it from? And uh, we actually had host for, I'm going to say maybe a little more than a month. Maybe even more than that. Maybe even more than that. I'm not sure, but I can say for sure we did get this certain strain in. And yes, let's get to it. What we are going to be reviewing today is the host, Ghost Train Haze. And this is one of the strains, <clears throat> you know me, I love making Veritas videos. So last week, you know, I, I'm trying to do stuff different. I did a uh, Natty Rems review video. And now this host, I've been scoping it out. I've been smelling it. And let me tell you, I'm, I'm super, 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 super duper stoked about making this video. I was like, yo, what strain should I review next? And I was like, you know what, this one I've been smelling. And I just haven't been getting because, you know, I've just been liking Cup and the Veritas. But I was like, yo, the people need to know who Host is because just from the outside in smelling it and everything, it just, I'm not going to talk about it too much because then there wouldn't be much to review. So, good morning, guys. I appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel. And if you're not, make sure you hit that subscribe button like this video and drop some down in the comments what strains you like what companies are dope you know um i already said i'm only going to be copping strains from lakeshore i'm not going to be copping bud from anywhere else so see what strains we got there what different brands we got there and yeah just type some good down in the comments that happened good to you recently i would really enjoy that let's just throw positivity in the comments what are y'all been doing recently that's been uplifting your soul so yeah throw those in there but yeah let's get to this uh review video and see what we got here here we go. Host Cannabis Co. Ghost Train Haze. Boom. Man, I'm super stoked about this. I just gotta say, Host Cannabis Co. Look at the packaging. Super nice. Ghost Train Haze. Got Ghost OG and Neville's Wreck. Yes, I copped an eighth of this. The total, total amount of THC in this is going to be 34.55%. That is a super duper... High percentage THC. High percentage of THC, my bad. <laughs> Facebook, host Denver, and then an Instagram, host Cannabis Co. Make sure you go check them out. Always like looking at the packaging. Beautiful. I like this little label they got back there with the plants and stuff. Once again, what they got going on. Just going through. Oh, this package contains fire. Oh, yes. Absolutely beautiful. Let's open it up. And see what we got here. Oh, sealed for our protection. Dope. Let's see it. Let's see it. All right. Continue to take off this paper. And look at that. Look at those trichomes. Look at it shining. Look at the green. Look at the orange hairs. Just like, wow. Cannot be mad at that at all. Beautiful. 
So y'all got to see that. I love how just as soon as you open up, yes, the flash was on it, but them trichomes just were shining bright like a diamond. Mm. Love saying that, you know, Rihanna. <laughs> so that is going to get a 10 out of 10 for the looks. Had the dope green, had the dope orange hairs, and yes, the trichomes are shining. Um, I will be getting into it, zooming into it a little bit more so we can get a better look at it here in a second. But next is the smell test. I ain't gonna say shit, so let's just... Wow. 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 And wow. Guys, I don't know if I've ever given a smell a 12 out of 10, but this right here gets a 12, a 12 out of 10. Or would I do 1, 2, or is it 2, 1 for you guys? Yeah, 2, 1, 12, whatever it is. It definitely gets a whopping 10 out of 10. This smells absolutely crazy. It's just super, 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 super duper citrusy. A little floral smell in there as well. But I've been smelling this bud for weeks. And let me tell you, out of all the buds I've smelled on a daily basis, this right here, this Ghost Train Haze, absolutely blows my mind. Mind you, now that I work in a dispensary, I definitely get a lot more aromas in my nostrils. You know what I'm saying? And... This ghost train here, ghost train haze right here, guys. Like I really don't think I've smelled a bud that just smelled so. It's just so good. Just like you said, the citrusy in there. Maybe there might be a little lemonine in there. A lot of lot lemonine in there, but they don't have what terpenes that are in here. So I'm no pro yet. So I'm not going to discuss that. But this smells crazy. Guys, if you're smoking yet and you're getting too excited, just wait. Hold up. Put it out. If you're about to heat it up, stop. We're going to get high here in a second, guys. It's time to zoom up in on the bud a little bit more. Throw it in the smoke is focus. You know, uh, break it down, see what it looks like, tear it apart, get every ounce of how it looks in this video. I'm super stoked. Host, Ghost Train A's. Super stoked about them. I can already tell y'all right now, if you haven't smoked this, smoke it. Smoke it. It's probably going to be better than I think when I smoke it. So, guys, let's get to it. All right, y'all, here it is in the smoke is focus. It really is trying to get it to focus while it's going through this microscopic thing, you know, the magnifying glass, but here you guys go. You can see, here we go. You got the green in there, the orange hairs. You can see the terpenes in there. Not the terpenes, uh, God damn it, I'm just too stoked to fucking smoke this. The trichomes, but yeah, y'all got the, mmm. Love it. The mmm. There you go. Some terpenes in there. Let's go. Alright, here it is a little better now. You can see them trichomes in there. You can see the orange hairs in there. It's looking really, really nice. Let's split it apart. Oh, look at that right there. Not dry whatsoever. Wow. Just. Ooh, this is nice. This is really nice. Wow. All right, and here it is all rolled up. Looking super duper nice. I am so stoked about this host, Ghost Train Haze. I saw it zoomed in up on Broken Down. I do want to say I apologize for the smoke's focus camera angles I will get there eventually with time and figuring it out but with it breaking it apart it was super moist if that's the correct word um was not dry whatsoever it did have that seal over top to keep it fresh for those so for those who don't you know have uh, said something about dry bud this bud right here was not dry by any means um it was super duper sticky I'm going to say this is probably one of the stickiest buds I've got in a while. Um, it just, pulling apart how it did, y'all saw it, it pulled apart so nice, those trichomes were just psh, shining as soon as you split it open. Super, super dope. I'm so excited to get high, so yes guys, it is time. Grab your papers, grab your bongs, grab your blunt papers, 
grab your whatever you're grabbing, just smoke out of smoke out of dab rig zong, bong, fucking gravity bong nectar collector. There's just so many things out there to smoke out of now, it's too hard to just go through them real quick on the top of my head. Not that good. But, we're gonna get high guys, so let's roll up right now. I'm gonna roll up, I'll be back here in a second guys. Alright, got it all rolled up, y'all ready to get motherfucking high today? Nah, I'm just kidding. Yeah, it's pretty dope though, huh? Weed max, big ass joint. I think I'm gonna hang it up then, I'm gonna put it right here or something. There was like a million ways I was like, how am I gonna show people that I just caught this dope ass thing that I'm so excited about? And I was just like, eh, let's do it like this. Boom, here it goes, all rolled up, got a whole bunch of ghost train haze in this shit. Let's light it up and oh! We're like, ah! Before I pop it, I better chill. But uh, yeah, here we go guys, I got it all rolled up. Super, super duper stoked about this. I will say, too, um, like, it does look super small, but, yo, I'm telling you, it is packed, like, no tomorrow. I was, like, just stuffing it to see how much I could get in there, and then, like, rolling it up, see how good it would do, and, like, yo, this did absolutely great. Super, super sticky. It does definitely roll absolutely beautiful. Let's do this pre-hit. It's like the citrusy, got that mm, to it, that mm, that taste in there that just makes it so good. All right, yeah, real quick, I did use raw papers to light up, and of course I'm using my Lakeshore Cannabis Lighter. Let's light this up, guys. Cheers. I'm super stoked to get high today. Let's go. Happy Wake and Bake for those watching it in the morning. Boom. Let's light it up. For those who live in Colorado, we've been getting a lot of snow recently. I've been loving it. Definitely when we get snow and I have off, so I really can just chill at home, stock up on weed, food, snacks, watch good TV. You know, and just have a good ass day, man. On your days off, and like today is just gonna be absolutely beautiful. I'm, I'm thinking about buying a snake today, a ball python. We'll see how that goes. Bought tarantulas before, that ain't go too well. Thought my fear of them would leave, but. I'm actually not scared of snakes, so I thought it'd be a cool animal to get. Wow. That was absolutely beautiful. Wow. Kind of speechless right now. It went really well. <laughs> that hit. <coughs> Goes down pretty smooth. That cough was actually a nice cough. It was just from inhaling so much right there, but... Not gonna lie. It don't taste as good as the smell. But it's hard for anything to taste as good as it literally smelled, but this does taste absolutely phenomenal. Like, it's literally the same taste that I'm getting from the smell. I mean, the same taste-smell situation, you know, how you smell something, you can figure out how it tastes, yeah. Literally the same thing, just not as, but super fire. This strain is super, super tasty. You know how some strains like give like nasty taste in the back of your mouth or whatever? Like this one is super nice. Wow. Ghost Train Haze. Ghost Train Haze. <coughs> By Host. Wow. I slept on these guys for so long. We've had the, this bud for so long and I did not cop it till now. Please don't wait. If you, if you see Host, cop it. It's fire. Wow, premium bud as well. It is on our top shelf. I'm sorry, guys, right here, yo, this bud. I'm not sorry for shit. Chase gets a 10 out of 10. I can't quite give it that 12 because it's not, smells super, super fire, but solid 10 out of 10. Let's jump into see what the strain, like, jump into the strain, see what it's about a little bit. Also, guys, got this off Leafly. 
<coughs> First bred by Rare Darkness, Ghost Train Haze is a sativa cross of Ghost OG <coughs> and Neville's Red. Unlike typical sativas, Ghost Train Haze grows dense buds blanketed in white crystals, capped trichomes, facts, with a sour citrus and floral aroma. Ghost Train Haze del delivers a potent dose of THC to knock out pain, depression, and appetite loss. <clears throat> but patients prone to anxiety should st steer clear of this heavy hitter. Low doses are conductive to concentration and creativity, but you may notice some cere cerebral haziness as you smoke more. Ghost Train Haze is a suitable outdoor strain for warm climates <clears throat> and has a 65 to 80 day flowering time indoors. So... Yeah, I'm always, you know, I have heard about, you know, people that do have anxiety and sativa. Sometimes it doesn't mix well. And I was always curious about that because really, I'm a person that, well, I did. I'm not saying I deal with anxiety a little bit. Yeah, I still do. We human. But I just, I don't, I haven't really had a sativa that made me super anxious. Um, I tried definitely paying attention to it more ever since I heard that was a thing with people. But... I'm a, uh, let's see if this is a good wake and bake. Let's see if I can get anxiety. Like I can tell you from right now, I can definitely tell it's a sativa. I am still highly, <sighs> compared to sometimes I can definitely feel my body sinking, but my energy high, but like this one, I just feel fully, <coughs> I'm gonna go by the fuck out of that snake right now after this video. <laughs> we'll see. I don't know, but I definitely do feel really good. Ghost train haze is super nice. Is there any other things I wanted to talk about on that? Cohen THC, yeah, that is fat, 34% THC. I like how it knocks out pain, depression, and uh, appetite loss, like I said. Ganja is the answer, ganja is medicine. It's just, it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful to smoke. You know, it's smoking, that's something that is good for you. Um, low doses are conductive to concentration and creativity. I like that. I'm a creative individual taking pictures, editing videos. You know, um, I'm definitely all about the buds that are, um, that help with, you know, being super creative and just letting loose and just being able to make your stuff without overthinking it. Sometimes, you know, you can edit and be like, ah, but then I'm just trying to edit videos and just have a good ass time. That's the point of all this. I'm trying to do everything I enjoy in life. I'm not trying to do anything I don't enjoy. You know, some people are like, oh, you have to do shitty things in life. It's just life. False. You don't have to do shitty shit in life to just live. Don't believe that. Don't let anybody convince you. You can't go out there and have a fun life. Yes, life is going to happen. Situations will happen. But you fight through it. But we can still do what we enjoy. I'm super stoked about this strain. I'm going to smoke a little bit more of this. Told you I fucking packed the hell out of it. It's burning really nice and slow. I haven't enjoyed this, but I'm gonna smoke some more of this, guys. I'll be right back. Definitely say sativa. I'm full of energy. I'm full of life right now. It is absolutely beautiful. Go straight and haze by host. I would definitely cop. But let me give my little little words of wisdom real quick. That something that has just been on my mind recently is that you know it's alright to be wrong. Um. You know, I, I, me of observing people, you know, we live in a time where I'll say something and the person will just go against the grain right away. Like, just not even have time to think about it. And it's like, what do you, I'm just trying to talk about it with you. Like, why do you have to just tell me what's wrong with something? You know, I find that strange. But then on top of it, let, let's say somebody does try to just counteract with what you're saying, or somebody's telling you something that you don't agree with. It's all right to have a debate about it. So I'll bring up, I was having a conversation with my homie the other day, and he was explaining something to me that he was doing, and I was just, I was going back and forth with him. I was like, bro, like, I really, you, what you're doing doesn't make sense to me. And he was like, you know what, it doesn't need to. And I was like, you know what, you're right. Some things only have to make sense to certain people, but then on top of that, you know, I told him, like, in my head, I'm thinking my idea or way was the right way, but I still, I asked him all these questions about it. And, you know, sometimes when you ask questions, you know, the other person can feel offended. Like, nah, really, change my mind. Change my mind. Like, if you feel a certain type of way about something and I feel a certain type of way about something, I'm willing to let you change my mind. I don't have to stay the person that I believe that I am. 
I like to change all the time. I like to have random ideas. I like, like, just say a snake that's super random. Homie been talking about it at work. He got one. I started thinking about it. So I do me. I do a bunch of research on the stuff. Learn a bunch about snakes. I'll type in YouTube. Snakes, spirituality. Let's see what pops up. And then I'll just start learning, you know, about snakes even more and more. And I'm like, hmm, never been scared of ones. Had exes that had them. They've been super cool. So, yeah. But it's just like... You know, we don't have to stay the same person our entire life. We don't always have to argue with everybody and prove our point. You know, sometimes we can be wrong. And I think that's absolutely beautiful. When somebody can change my mind, I like when I just think one way. And then somebody's like, ah, nah, man. Let me bring you on the other side. And I feel like that's how I've been recently in this past year with my past year of my life. I just keep trying new things. Things weren't the way I wanted them to be, so I kept trial and error, trial and error, Let me, I like this, it's like, you know, we're adults now, you know how when you're kids, you just have all these ideas that you want to do, I want to be this, I want to be this, I want to be this, I want to get this, I want to get this, I want to get this, and your parents say no, and it's like, uh, but now we're older, we can do that, so let's do it, that's why I love having all these crazy random ideas, I'll let my inner child sprout, you know, all all, the, all these things that I've ever wanted to do. It's like, now you're an adult. You got your big boy pants on. You got a little bit of money in the bank account. Go ahead and do what you want to do. You know, and uh, it's the beauty of life. You know, new knowledge, new shit out there. Just new, new. I love new. And I'm always open to other things. It's absolutely beautiful. It's what I always like to say, you know, the people that only wear black vans. Like, I get it. You like this sneaker, but they... I'm going to speak on age. You may like them from 18 to something, you know, but once you start getting older, you start to feel pain a little more and want to wear shit a little more comfortable. So you can let go of the regular black bands and maybe get the black bands with more cushion in it. You know what I'm saying? Elevate your life. Life is beautiful. I'm high. Ghost Train Haze. My host. I feel like, you know, the mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Like, whoa. Put out there fucking such a good show and movies, but I'm highly high, guys. I hope y'all are too. Wow. Life is beautiful. Life is great. Weed is great. God is good. <laughs> wow. So there we have it for Ghost Train Haze. Let's clap it up real quick. <laughs> Gotta put some respect on that name real quick. There you go. It's gonna get a smooth 12 out of 10 for today. Um, for first time trying it. <coughs> <coughs> Couldn't be happier. <coughs> <coughs> Ooh. <coughs> Smells good. Tastes great, looks great, not dry, <coughs> super sticky. I mean, literally, it's hitting everything you want out of a strain. Like, no cap, 12 out of 10. Like this, wow. I'm so stoked on Ghost Train Haze. Ooh. Host, y'all did y'all thing, man. Definitely gonna have to start getting more strains from them in. Because let me tell you, uh, more than, more than, more than impressed this is great. It even says package contains fire. No cap. No cap. I'm gonna get up on out of here, guys. There you have it for Ghost Train Haze by Host. Absolutely beautiful experience. And remember, it's alright to be wrong and you can take new advice from other people. It's alright. But also, if there's certain things you do stand by, keep standing by. I ain't telling you to change everything. There's certain little things, you know, that you're open to. It's all what's inside. But... I am the Carter Trey. Peace, love, and happiness as always, guys. Spread that love. Spread that peace. One love. I'm out of here, guys. Until next time.